reaction stray by your on an ogre's tweet while sharing picture of an Igbo man named Among Service Chiefs. <laughs> an hour ago, all progressive congress APC chieftain Bayo Onanoga took to social media to tackle Nigerians, accusing President Bola Ahmed Tinubu of exhibiting nepotic tendencies in his latest round of appointment into his cabinet, especially in the area of picking his service chiefs. In a tweet posted on his Twitter handle on Monday, on Monday night, Onanoga, who is a former media aide to Tinubu, shared a picture of Nigeria's latest chief of Nava staff, Rear Admiral Emmanuel Ogala, who hails from Igbo, Igbo is not local government area of Enugu State. Going further, the APC chieftain insisted that there is no nep nepotism when it comes to appointment as it is done purely on the basis of the principle of federal character. Concluding his tweet, Mr. Ananoga urged critics of the Buhari administration to get the right information before rushing to judgment. Okay. Nigerians, his tweet, he said, There is no nepotism in the appointment. They follow federal character. He now named the appointees. Mala Nau Rabadu, the National Secretary Advisor, not Adamawa. Number two, Major General C.J. Musa, Chief of Defense Staff, not Number three, Major General Abiodu Lagbaja, Chief of Army Staff, Southwest. Rear Admiral Emmanuel Ikechuku Ogala, Chief of Nava Staff, South East Enugu. AVM Abu Abubaka, Chief of Air Staff, North. Then the DIG Kayo Kayo De. Acting Inspector General of Police, Southwest. Major General Ipa, Chief of Defense Intelligence, South South. Ado Cross River State. For those accusing the Tinubu government of nepotism, the Chief of Naval Staff, Rear Admiral Emmanuel Ogala, is from Igbo, is it not? local government of Enugu State. The chief of intelligence is from the Cross River. So critics should try to dig for information before rushing to judgment. Quite interestingly, the APC chieftain's remarks have drawn, you know, a lot of mixed, mixed reactions from a cross session of Nigerians online, with many trooping to the comment session to share their thoughts. Why some persons? concord with his as assumptions. Others, however, pointed out that it was unnecessary for him to have described all appointments from the North as one region, while breaking that of the South into its geopolitical zones. Okay, let's hear Nigerians out. Sir, thank you for this clarification. Even though some people, as we know, will never be satisfied, even if all the appointments we are given to them, it is their, it is in their genes to war, okay, and feel entitled to have it all to themselves alone. What about the North? Why is there a different in the categor categorization? No matter what you say to our people, Fairness is not what they seek. What they seek is taking what they have not earned. These are reactions. It is mischievous to lump their appointees from northern ge ge geopolitical, geopolitical zones into one. Why you split the appointees from the three southern geopolitical zones to their respective Zones, Nano, Rabudu, North East. 
Major General C.J. Musa, Northwest. Air Vice Masha, Abubaka, Northwest. Hmm. Replying, how we urge the administration not to mind any illogical criticisms. Let appointment be at the description of Mr. President, who try to balance and help. Okay, Nigerians are still talking. Please, you guys should try and live up the level of civilization in this country called Nigeria. Tribe has nothing to do with good governance until we begin to think right and forget about tribe or ethnicity. We can never get it right as a nation. Okay, I pray that Obi will not be so tribalistic and nepotic when he reclaims his mandate. What we have now is not a country. Which mandates that Momoda is not president yet and he will never be? All these cronies are all Igbo's lawyers, party chiefs, everything. I think that is harsh. You have no right to insult. I don't blame Tunubu. I blame Wicked Buhari who started it. I can't blame Tunubu if he decide to appoint. If he decide to appoint only Yoruba in his government because Buhari started it. Even appointing people from Niger and nobody stopped him. Nigeria no go change well. Ha. Buhari killed and reduced Nigeria. So nothing and nothing. And we all accepted him because we believed in suffering and smiling as tribalistic nation. Shameless old man. Did you people make only seven military and parliamentary appointments? Even at that, out of the seven you wanted us to see, three came from the southwest. Of six states, why the rest 30 states shared for? The greatest mistake Tunubu made was having John Ver adults like you around him. He will rely he will rarely get good advice. Okay, he will never get good advice from ethnic bigots like you. Okay. Uh shameless old man and uh, that is harsh as well. Okay, guys, you've all heard it now. Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for always coming out here. Bye for now.